Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. If you guys are new here, my name is Lisa, and in today's video, I'm doing another one of my monthly favorites video where I actually review all the products that I used this month and to kind of give you guys my thoughts on it. So I'm super excited because this month, I really had a very extensive skincare routine that is quite different. Well, not quite different. I would say I definitely tried a bunch of different products that are pretty much all new to me, so I'm very excited to share with you guys. And also because earlier this month, I released my first impressions video on some of the viral beauty products, I'm going to be reviewing some of the products that I used in that video. So without any further ado, let's get this video started. As usual, I have categories that are clothing, jewelry, beauty, etc. So I'm gonna just get started on the clothing products. So this video is brought to you by Lily Silk, and Lily Silk is a company that makes all silk products, and I got the chance to try them all of this month. So you guys might have actually already seen them make an appearance on my Instagram because I wore their silk top that I will show you here. I wore this really cute black silk top. I actually got a few questions on, and I had to answer in my story stories going like, oh my god, I was trying to surprise you guys in my favorites video. But this is where it is from. It is from Lily Silk. It's just super cute and super classy as a top. It's definitely a staple and has the cowl neck in the front. So I think that's super cute. Another item that I also wore on my Instagram, you guys are going to be able to kind of see it here because it's one of those dresses that kind of all tie together. So as you guys can see, it looks like it's falling apart, but I promise you it looks absolutely beautiful. I posted it on my Instagram several times. So I will leave some pictures here for you. This dress is also from Lily silk and it is so nice I couldn't resist and just wear it at home and filmed some TikTok videos using this dress but I actually probably won't be wearing this dress until hopefully in August because I'm finally going to my friend's wedding it was actually scheduled for last year in Banff but obviously it got moved so it's now this year in Banff but we still don't know if it's happening but if it's happening I'm most likely wearing this dress and it's just absolutely gorgeous the last thing that I actually got from Lily Silk is a set of white silk pillowcases the thing is I wash my bed sheets once a month and as you guys can see it's the end of the month So I actually took this right out of the wash because it was in the middle of washing cycle So I just wanted to show you guys anyway I actually used it all of this month and it's just such a fabulous thing to have as a pillowcase I've actually used silk pillowcases before if you guys haven't you definitely need to try It's just so much better for your skin for your hair for fallout It just has all these really great benefits and obviously it looks looks super luxurious and it's super comfortable. If you are, you know, kind of concerned for acne or like hair fallout, definitely try switching to silk pillowcases. When I was going through my fallout journey, that was definitely one of the things that I tried first. So definitely highly recommend trying Lily Silk. And you guys can also use my discount code LisaWay12 for an additional 12% off their entire website. So moving on to some of the usual categories that you guys are familiar with, I'm going to go through my favorite Majuri products of the month and this is really exciting because by now you probably have already seen my how to stack my rings video that I also did with Majuri. If you saw that then you would have already seen the piece that I'm about to mention. It is their new diamond dome ring and this is what the ring looks like. So if you guys remember I already got the diamond pave ring which is right here and this is what it looks like but this one is different because it stands out a little bit further and and also it's just a little bit more I guess like white because I think there's more diamond concentration those two are definitely different but I really do like both of them and this is my favorites of this month it is just so bougie and I just absolutely love it if you guys also saw the ring video that I had already posted you guys will know that a really good alternative to that ring also is just their classic solid gold dome ring that one's also been on my list for a long time but then when I saw this one I ended up just getting the diamond version the solid gold Gold version is such a great solid gold piece. I actually have a friend that has it and it's hollow on the inside and it's super dainty with just a little bit of a bump. If you guys aren't big fans of having 
the diamond. You guys can definitely check out the solid gold version as well. The second one is also another diamond piece and these are my first diamond studs. I didn't get them from my parents. I can get them from anyone else because you know what? When it comes to my jewelry, you just have to get it for your damn self. But these are what the earrings look like. I don't know. I just absolutely love the look of them and you can see that I've styled them here with the threaders. For the longest time last month, I threaded the threaders through both of my holes, but now I have the diamond ones as well, and it just looks so, so good. I just feel like I'm definitely elevating my styles and accessories a lot more as time goes on, so I just wanted to add these staple pieces into my collection as well. And surprisingly, for studs, these are super, super, super sturdy, which is what I was looking for, because obviously, since they're diamond, you want to make sure that they don't fall off easily. So if you guys guys are looking for some new classy diamond pieces, definitely check these guys out. They just released these in January, so they're quite new. So if you haven't seen them on their website, maybe that's why, because it's kind of still new and I just have been loving them. So highly recommend checking those out. And as usual, I have a discount with Majuri, so you can get 10% off the entire website. And if you want to see my entire collection, you can just look at the link. It has all of my favorite products. They're listed all the time. So definitely check that out as well. So now that we have clothing and jewelry out of the way. Let's really go on to beauty because as you guys know, this month I had tried a bunch of beauty products. I'm gonna start reviewing the beauty products, but I'm gonna first review the products that I used during the first impressions video, and then I'll review some of the products that I used outside of the first impressions video. So in the first impressions video, I used these four products. I used the Anastasia Beverly Hill Brow Freeze. I used the First Aid Beauty Eye Cream, the Wazo Beauty Shiseido product and the Sky High Maybelline Mascara. Starting with the eye cream. I really, really like this eye cream. This is the First Aid Beauty 979 Brightening Eye Cream. As a eye cream, I would say that this isn't my holy grail product. However, as you guys saw the purpose of the First Impressions video, it was actually to reduce my makeup usage and makeup wear throughout the month when I'm not filming more of a day-to-day -day look. So the reason why I do like this product is for a few reasons. Number one, I think it's a great daytime eye cream because of the color concentration. I personally wouldn't wear this at night. I think that's just a personal preference. I'm sure you can wear it at night, but for me, I just didn't want the shininess. I wanted something more concentrated, but I do think this is a great alternative to concealer if you are looking for something in the skincare industry. This is something that I would probably stick to just during the daytime, and I do like it for the daytime purpose. Nighttime, I still want to focus on some of my other eye creams instead. So I do really like this. Definitely brightening. You can also use this as kind of like a highlighter replacement as well. So that's kind of my review on this product. The second product that I used was the Wazo Shiseido Moisturizer. So this is a tinted moisturizer. If you guys didn't watch my first impressions video, basically this product is a tinted moisturizer. It comes out white, but once you put it on your skin, it will start blending into the color of your skin. Now my review for this product is as follows. Number one, I do really like it. It does have coverage. The only thing is I didn't learn until afterwards, but you should still try to put on sunscreen underneath your tinted moisturizer. I think this is a quick and easy solution if you're in a rush and on the go. However, if you're not in a rush, I do still recommend putting on sunscreen before your tinted moisturizer. And then the second thing is that in terms of the actual color balance, even though there is great coverage, in terms of actually matching it to the color of my skin, there was still a discrepancy. I find that the color for this one, on my skin tone anyway, it came out more yellow and there was definitely a difference when you were looking at my face and on my neck that there was a difference so you really really needed to focus on blending it out and even if you do put it on your neck you still need to blend it out to the other areas of your body because the color isn't a 100% match so if you guys are looking for a 100% match I don't recommend using this for that reason I would still either use foundation or like a CC cream or something like that the next product that I used is the Anastasia Beverly Hill brow freeze so overall in terms of the efficacy of this product, I 100% think that this product works wonders in terms of what it's supposed to do. The current super viral fluffy look, it's the trend these days where your eyebrows are just very natural and bushy and fluffy. Does it achieve that look? Yes. I think my own personal takeaway is that I just don't think that I have the eyebrows or the look for that. So I've tried it so many times this month and I just think that it's not the product's problem. I think it's just I'm not the most suited for that look. I think it just looks better when I don't add much 
much color and it's a more natural look so if I absolutely don't wear makeup that day I think this one looks better but if I do like a makeup look like I did today I don't actually think it looks great with this product it definitely is more on the very 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 natural side so that's kind of my review if you're planning to add color to your brows if you also have like the kind of shape that I have then I don't know if you're gonna like this but if you have the natural shape of the other girls that usually have these brows then definitely check this out because this really does work great so the last product that I saved for this portion of the review is the Maybelline sky high mascara and let me tell you I had really high hopes for this mascara and does it work the way that it advertises that it works absolutely does it make your eyelashes look super super long and high as the name says yes it does however however me and a bunch of other beauty gurus have reviewed this product and the issue with this product I think it doesn't matter whether or not you got it waterproof or non waterproof I have the waterproof version is that your eyelashes will fall out not throughout the day it's not like you're walking and your eyelashes are just falling out but when I take the mascara off I notice that my eyelashes are falling out like crazy so that's just something that I have noticed with this mascara and a lot of people have now retracted their recommendation for this product as you guys can see from the first impression video I was using it for the first time and I was showing how it works and yes it did work perfectly fine and I didn't really notice until later about the fallout when I was taking off my makeup what I have done right now instead to compensate because I do still like the fact that it goes really long if you guys watch my last month's video I reviewed the Lancome Edel mascara and this one is amazing it doesn't have the eyelash falling out problem and it still does go pretty high probably not as high as this one but it still works really well so what I do on days that I'm not wearing false lashes is I will put majority of my coats of mascara using this mascara and only the very very last coat I will put a coat of the sky high does it still make your eyelashes fall out yes a little bit even with just one coat but I think it's better than me just using the whole entire bottle and I just do it because I just need my eyelashes to look a little bit long that's kind of the review here I know it's probably not what you wanted to hear because everyone was raving about this mascara but that's just kind of the truth of this mascara so Moving on to the next section. I have tried a lot of the Honest Beauty products this month also. So these are the three products that I have tried. So just to read it out loud, I have tried the Vitamin C Serum. I've tried their Retinol Serum and also their Deep Hydration Cream. I'm not gonna go too intense except the fact that I actually do really like these. They're all at a fairly good price point, I would say, compared to some other products. The Vitamin C Serum is really great if you're looking for a Vitamin C Serum. I think it's like nothing astonishing it does what it does it brightens your skin it definitely gives off the look that you're looking for if you are looking for a vitamin C serum I think this one's fairly normal didn't hate it I just liked it fairly normally I was also looking for a vitamin C serum when I'm here so there's that their retinol I really really like their retinol so this one actually stood out to me funny story with this and if you guys are new to retinol you guys need to use retinol especially if you are over the age of 25 you need to start using anti-aging products so start introducing retinol into to your routine however your skin needs some sort of tolerance for this product so you need to start by using this product once a week and then kind of build twice a week eventually but your skin needs to get used to it it's a very intense ingredient and can actually allow your skin to burn if you use too much of it especially all at once because for the sake of these videos you guys know that I use these products every single day just to give a more accurate review with this product I totally forgot that it was retinol so I used it like every single night I think on the seventh day my face was burning like crazy please do not make the same mistake that I did use this in the daytime use your vitamin C in the daytime and use retinol at night this is only meant to be used once a week twice a week and slowly start building your tolerance don't fuck up the way that I did the third product that I use from honest beauty is their deep hydration face cream and this is what the product looks like and this is a really great nighttime cream it does does give this really intense hydration if you guys are looking for a cream second of all it has this really intense hydration and really really locks in the moisture and I definitely notice it when I'm sleeping the only thing that I do have to complain about I only use this at night it's only been a month and like almost half of the product is already gone so I feel like you're not getting a lot of product with this one which is surprising because I feel like all the other ones seem at a more normal I don't know 
but this one I'm definitely flying through the product so just wanted to give a little heads up in case that, that impacts your decision at all I do think it is intense at hydration but the product quantity is you know maybe not the greatest for all of these products if you are Canadian you can buy them at shoppers drug mart so you can use your points for them the last skincare product that I wanted to show you guys and introduce you guys to is the pharmacy honey halo and this is their ultra hydrating moisturizer and this is what the product looks like a couple of things about this moisturizer number one I think it is a really really great daytime moisturizer in the winter so what I mean by that I personally like it when at night I use something really intense and very hydrating and kind of thick because I'm not wearing makeup on top of that or anything so something like the deep hydration face cream is great during the daytime I like to use a little bit lighter of a moisturizer but when it comes winter time it's really hard to find that in between I still want the lightness in a moisturizer but I don't want something as heavy as cream to combat the winters this one is a really really great product for that because it still is quite lightweight it's not greasy so you can still put on your makeup afterwards it has that intense hydration that we are all looking for especially if you are also Canadian and the winters are brutal this is a great product another call out of this product that I just want to say that I like is that it comes with one of these spoony things which a lot of skincare products come with however what makes this one different and smart is that they actually made this magnetic because usually when I have something like this I end up losing it or I just end up not using it because I don't know where it goes after but this one is so smart because after you use it it literally sticks onto the lid so I actually use this to scoop out the product and honestly the honey smell is really nice and I definitely recommend checking this out if you guys are looking for a winter daytime moisturizer so the last category is actually sunglasses because I forgot to mention this in the clothing category I got sunglasses from Tijin and honestly I got so many sunglasses from them they're all really 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 cute I can't stop wearing them for all of my outfit pictures and I think you guys have seen them quite a few times in my vlog as well but this is what they look like these are just some of them I have these in all different colors and they've just been such a stylish I guess add to my outfits so I definitely want to call them out because I genuinely have been wearing them all month and alternating between all their different styles definitely check them out as well I've absolutely loved those sunglasses and yes they were gifted as well okay so that was pretty much it for the video I know that this video has gone on for a little long but that's because we had a lot of contestants this month I hope you guys enjoyed this video and I will see you guys in the next one bye